One of the biggest misconceptions that most students have is when creating an equivalent fraction, a new fraction is created. For students in upper elementary and secondary, this misconception can be addressed by first using fraction wheels to show that even though the denominators are different, the amount shaded is still the same. Next, using the same fraction, create equivalent fractions by using the denominator to skip count and then use the numerator to count up by ones. The last step is to identify the scale factor that was used to create two equivalent fractions, such as one half is equal to two fourths and three sixths is also equal to one half. Tell me in the comment section what happens to the parts of the fractions as the equivalent fractions are created. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to get notified when I upload new content.